Today we'll learn about Powerline technology. Powerline uses your home's existing electrical system to network devices to the internet. Powerline is known for its stability, reliability, and easy installation. Here's how it works. You plug one Powerline adapter into an electrical outlet near your existing router. Then, using the included Ethernet cable, connect it to your router. This first adapter now broadcasts a network signal over your electrical system. You then plug in other adapters wherever you need to connect to the internet. Places like your home office, or at your television. Trinet adapters simply auto-connect out of the box. It's that easy. How far will it go? Powerline offers amazing range. Trinet adapters are rated for homes up to 5,000 square feet or 465 square meters. Now that's a big home. As long as you're plugging adapters into outlets that are on the same electrical system, you're good to go. If you live in an apartment or a condo where homes are close to each other, your power line signal will often be broadcast to neighboring units. However, your signal is encrypted and not accessible by your neighbors. Let's talk speed. Powerline 500, 600, and 1200 are currently the most popular speed categories. Powerline 500 and 600 rated adapters can deliver close range speeds of over 100 megabits per second. So if you're looking for a combination of performance and value, then take a closer look at Powerline 500 or 600. Powerline 1200 can deliver close range speeds of over an amazing 500 megabits per second. So if you want the best performance, go for Powerline 1200. Keep in mind that every home is different and that the further the adapters are from one another, the slower the connection speed. Here are two performance tips to make sure that you're getting the highest speeds out of your power line adapters. One, don't plug adapters into a power strip. Power strips can degrade power line performance. If you have a lot of devices that need to be plugged into an outlet, get our TPL 421E2K, which has a bonus outlet built into the front of the device. Plug the TPL 421E2K into the outlet, then plug the power strip into the TPL 421E2K. Two, don't plug adapters into GFCI outlets. Those are the outlets you find in your bathroom and kitchen, which will trip if there's a short circuit. You can tell if it's a GFCI outlet if it has a reset button in the middle of the outlet, like this. GFCI outlets degrade performance as well. Now, why would someone choose Powerline over wireless? Well, many users are now installing both in their homes at the same time. Some building materials such as concrete walls, metal stud walls, and masonry construction can significantly degrade wireless signals. Many users will now have a wireless network for general use and install Powerline for a high-speed connection to their TV, home office, or den. I hope this Powerline information empowered you with powerful and pertinent information.